If you're watching this video, then you're probably familiar with Adobe, one of the world's leaders in graphic design, video editing, video composition, etc. software. They enable creators to make beautiful works of art, but how does a company who makes all this software make icons that look like sh They're terrible. I like the design, but the colors are atrocious. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix it right after the intro. <laughs> Alright, so this video will include tutorials for both Mac and Windows, so I'm going to start with Windows, but if you want to see the Mac tutorial, then skip to this time now. Thankfully, a group of people called the Element Supply Company has made an icon pack for all the Adobe programs that use the new styling and the original colors. They even include the original icon from Media Encoder before Adobe changed it to the ME icon. The icon pack is a free purchase, and once you have it downloaded and extracted, you will see two folders one containing the icons for Windows and the other containing the icons for Mac. There's also a PDF that tells you how to install the icons if you're more of a reader. Now, Windows isn't like macOS where you can change the icon of an application directly. Instead, you have to change the icon of a shortcut to whatever Adobe application you want. In this case, I'm doing it with Premiere. When you have a program sit in your taskbar, Windows actually creates a shortcut for you. So all we have to do is right click the taskbar icon right click on Premiere, then hit Properties. The window that shows up will have an option to change the shortcut icon. Direct it to the folder where you extracted the icons and you're all set. The last thing to do is restart Windows so on the next boot it uses the new icons. Rinse and repeat for all other Adobe programs, or any program for that matter, that you want. In macOS, it's very simple to change the icon of a program. Go into the application folder of your chosen Adobe program, then right click on the app and hit get info. Then all you need to do is drag and drop the new icon you want to use into the upper left hand corner of the get info window. Rinse and repeat for all Adobe programs and it works like a charm. So yep, that's how to fix the Adobe icons. I like these icons a lot more than the Adobe ones. Just because Adobe made Premiere, Media Encoder, After Effects, they made them all the same color and it just doesn't feel right to me. Obviously, you're still gonna have to look at the logo inside the program because this does not change that icon, but at least it sits on your taskbar or dock a little prettier. So thank you guys for watching this short tutorial. We're gonna have another video out next week and thank you guys for watching.